tons of Minecraft YouTubers that claim to know all the redstone tips, tricks, and machines to Minecraft, and they show you. But most of us never test it ourselves, so you don't know if it actually works or if they're just trying to clickbait to get more views. So today we're testing some of Mumbo Jumbo's most big brain redstone inventions to see if they really work and if you should put them in your Minecraft world. Bench swappers. Oh, what As I'm sure you're all aware, in Minecraft 1.14, all sorts of new crafting benches are introduced true. into the game, so we need to be able what? to have oh, access to that them. Is so cool. And I think this Yo. is by far the coolest way oh, that you can I access agree, all of your different what types is of that? crafting that benches. Is so compact and easy. Out. Now the redstone master himself, Mr. Mumbo Jumbo, has made this a little bit hard to test because he didn't actually show us how to make it. So I'm gonna give this a real hard go. So I think he would have had two pistons down our crafting table here and our loom here. We're gonna put a block here, we'll put our lever on top, and this has to somehow push these pistons up and retract the other ones. Oh my goodness! Okay, so we would have one back here, a block here, and a block here. Redstone dust there. We need to get out, we're gonna have pistons on the back here that also are holding blocks. So if we have pistons like that, and we have our other two blocks, we're gonna have our grindstone here and our cartographer table. Okay, that's not doing anything. How do, oh wait! Redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone dust on the back here. That's pushed these forward. Now if I click the lever, ha <laughs> ha, done it! All right, now what we need to do is uh, pretty this up a little bit here, guys. Is he covered this all up with just wood? We're just gonna use white concrete here, guys. Perfect, okay. Let's test this out. Hit the lever and check it out. We have ourselves our very own bench swappers, just like Mumbo did. The level of compactness is pleasing me immensely. Disco dance floor. <laughs> I am awesome. not exactly the best dancer in the world. Wait, I mean, what? I've got one move. And that is this. But this disco <laughs> dance worry, floor Mumbo, is kind of making up for it because that looks everything so cool. looks cooler Look that. That when it's on a disco mode. dance floor. <laughs> complete with DJ decks and also... Yeah, nice. These, they're meant to be speakers. Okay, <laughs> just... Yeah. Okay, I mean, maybe his building isn't as good as, 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 good as his redstone, but how do we do this? this thing is actually way simpler than really? you expect. It's just... Oh, great. We're not gonna well, be able to... there's not much of a way of me showing it. This this seems like a better option. All we've got is lines of observers connected up into a redstone clock. Lovely uh -huh. stuff. So, uh, we got a bit more explanation for the next floor, but he still only showed part of it, and I'm still very confused. He had a hopper clock, and I saw four hoppers on the back here. Oh, wait. We need that to go into there, that one to go into there, and then we'll go ahead and crouch and place that. So, all these hoppers are facing into one another. I'm gonna place one block in there, and then now we have a comparator coming out of here. Okay, that's gonna output a single redstone signal. Now, what he did is he had lines of observers. So, I think he had a line here that was four long, and is that gonna send a redstone signal out? At the side here. Okay, observers detect blocks. Oh, I know why it's stuffed up. Wait, if I put it coming out of the comparator here, guys. One, two, three, and four. I think it was five long, his was. Okay, now we'll check. Is there a redstone? Hey, it's leaking! I've never been so happy to see an observer blink. Okay, and then he had rows of these coming out. So one, two, three, four. And that's blinking too. Yes! Okay, and so we'll just go ahead and do this all across here, all the way down, guys, and look at that. These are all blinking in a row, just like we want the lights. Now we've got to build a layer on top, and I think he just had these facing forward. <gasps> look, guys, they're all blinking. Yes, 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 it's coming together. I think that this definitely works. This redstone hacks is legit, guys. Let's give this a good old go. You can even see right now the redstone lights are going down in this really cool fashion. So now let's go ahead and chuck our redstone lamps here on top, guys. And I, all right. We've got ourselves a dance floor, and then the way he decorated it, guys, stone bricks around the outside here, some great concrete, then he had some stair blocks. We can't forget about his DJ deck, guys. Basically, I think he had uh, one, two, three upside down here, and then he had item frames with music discs. These were the DJ decks, like that. All right, let's rotate those around, and then we're going to need a button, and of course, guys, his speakers. Let's go ahead. We'll put the button in the center, and then one, two, with a skeleton skull, one, two, with a skeleton skull, and yeah! Yeah, now we're talking. Look at this, Mumbo. I got the same moves as you. Don't worry. <laughs> you may oh recognize my goodness, what is this that? wheat farm. But the thing is, is, this wheat farm is actually an improved version like of that design. It has been made oh, considerably smaller that race and also complex. quite a bit oh, more efficient no, guys. as well. I'm as you supposed see, to figure out how to get right this here, thing to work. Are you kidding me? And all we have to do is hold down the right click button. That's so cool. And we get it's ourselves tons of tons of wheat. Hold the clicker and you can create infinite wheat. This also works with carrots and potatoes. This is like really in one micro farm. You get wheat, so carrots, and too. potatoes from something the size of a shoe. Nice! Guys, 
please don't see me. I had to take some photos of Mumbo's video and put them on my second monitor here to copy down because uh, otherwise, if it doesn't work, it'll probably be my fault for doing the redstone rock, not his fault. So I want to try and get this as accurate as we can. So basically, from this picture here, guys, he built out a platform that is four long and three blocks wide and he replaces this front one with a sticky piston. Two blocks back from here, here's a lever redstone clock on the back here, guys. So there's two hoppers facing into each other and then a redstone dust on here and then he places one block in the hopper clock here. Now, if he goes ahead and hits that lever, that's going to stop the block from moving so you guys can see the block is stuck in that hopper. Then we need a comparator coming out of here, a sticky piston there, one block here, I think. Ah, the photo was confusing, guys. Um, and then we need a repeater coming out here on two ticks. And then finally, we're going to place a block there and put a redstone torch on the other side. And I think that is one full redstone cycle. This is the one that makes this thing go up and down. Okay, yeah. So we've got this block going up and down. Ew, I got that much work. And now we're going to put the grass or the dirt there, which we're going to put the farmland on. So we're going to put an observer above here. And then a redstone dust has to come on here and basically connect up to our dispensers, which are going to be here. Oh, that shouldn't connect. Uh, I think we put a block there. That'll stop that from connecting. Okay, we sorted that problem out. And then we need a dispenser there. A dispenser here, um, a dispenser just there, and finally, guys, we're gonna need a dispenser facing downwards. So, uh, and then we'll put our dispenser just down like that. And that should cover it. We need to just wire this up with redstone. And voila! Maybe that will work. Let's give this a go. I think it's working! I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and hoe that ground hoe that ground there. Oh, we need to put water down, of course, guys. Otherwise, this isn't going to grow. So he covered this in and he broke out. Wait, if we get this. Okay, if we. Okay, oh, I broke the lever. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, we've turned it up. We need to break out that block there and place a block under here. And then we need to fill that in with water there. Now let's fill up these dispensers all with bone meal here, guys. I think I've gotten this right. Okay, so we click the lever here. And then I start planting the seeds. Ah, hey, guys, look at that. It is working. I've got an infinite wheat farm going on. This is epic. Guys, look at how much weight I've got. Wait, we'll stack that there. You just hold down your mouse here, guys. Oh, if I can. All right, I've got to hold it. I'll bring it up to show you guys. I've just literally got my finger held down, and it is producing tons and tons and tons of wheat. Look at that. 20 wheat in a very short period of time. Mumbo Jumbo, you've done it again. I played Launchpad. If you're launch one of the lucky pad? few people that not only has an Elytra, but also has a Riptide 3 Trident, then you're going to want to construct one of these. What a system is that gives one you of a these? little you pocket of water that allows you to what? launch yourself and then you can the just fly around? And fly off. These things are so incredibly That's simple, so but also cool. so incredibly useful. It's a literal especially for those that can shoot you up in the air and fly around wherever you want. Where you don't exactly have All the right. best connection to them. Because it can be difficult to take no? off from the ground. <sighs> So, once again, I've been left to my own devices to try and figure out how this works. But I think this might be a little bit easier, at least, than the AFK wheat farm. And I might have an inkling on how to do this. So, basically, we're going to have a button connected to some redstone. That's obvious. Have an observer. And I think we need the arrow to face out in that direction. And then a hopper going into the observer like that. Then we need a comparator coming out of this observer. And then coming back into the hopper here. And a redstone dust above that. Build out where our water platform is going to be. So, we need to have a block. We're going to put a dispenser facing upwards. That's where the water's going to come out of. I think that makes sense. We'll put the water bucket in there. And then we add slabs to cover it up and stop the water from flowing everywhere. So we'll build out a little platform here. All right, let's check this out, guys. See how this works. Hey, we've got ourselves a little walking spot. And then we'll go ahead, put this down. We need to enchant our trident with Riptide 3. We'll go ahead and equip our Elytra. And now what we need to do, let's try this in survival here, guys. All right, I'm in survival mode. You hit the button. And then you hold your trident. And whoop, check it out, guys. I'm flying. Yo, that is so cool. And then you can fly back. We can land on our pad here. Okay, well, I'm not very good at flying. We'll just pretend I landed. You put the water down and whoop, up we go. This is the perfect way to travel around your world really, really quickly. That is a great and simple launch pad. And you don't have to deal with the water being, you know, out there and ugly and everything, guys. It goes, it disappears the minute you're finished with it. The bomb zone. A bomb the only zone? thing that we can't actually showcase in this world because, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, clues in the name. Sometimes it's fun to just dig big what holes in Minecraft. This? Wait, sometimes like it's fun to just blow like things up in Minecraft. Oh, so if you can do TNT both at the same time, for free, making use of TNT duplicators, then huh. what on earth are you doing? Why aren't you doing this? Fair enough. I mean, check it out. And of course, you can do it on a larger scale 
using more and more of these. You can get flying machines involved. Wait, I mean, we can make a bomber blade. Now, I believe we've actually made this TNT duplicator before on the channel and another TikTok hack I was testing out, but I've never made one with a hopper clock before. So we're going to try and do what he did. Basically, he had the hopper clock coming at you guys, and then it would have had a redstone comparator and then a block, dropped a block in there. And as you guys can see, that's outputting this automatic signal. Now, if we put a lever here, though, and it activate it, yeah, that stops the signal. Okay, and then from there, it's just our usual TNT duplicator here, guys. We just need to have our sticky piston connected up to our comparator here, guys, and then our slime blocks having one, two, three. We put out the little wall, I think it is, and then one, two, three coming out the side, our dead coral there, our TNT just here, our activator rail, and our minecart. We hit that, and uh, whoa, check it out! We got ourselves a TNT duplicator. But what really excites me is that Mumbo Jumbo mentioned this could be used in a TNT bomber plane. So why don't we give that a go? Now, Mumbo is a redstone genius, and I am certainly not. So I did not build this, guys. But I still wanted to test it out to see if it works. As you guys can see, it's a giant slime block plane. But it has a ton of these TNT duplicators here, guys. With the mine cuts, the slime blocks, the TNT, and the dead coral here. All across the wings. Which should, in theory, allow this to work as a TNT bomber plane. All we gotta do, guys, is set this bad boy off. And see whether it can really do some damage. Who am I kidding? This thing is gonna do a ton of damage. Go. And bang! Oh my goodness! The plane is on the move! Huh. Oh no, did my game just freeze? The TNT is dropping down, guys, but I think my game just froze. Guys, my game froze. So I reloaded the wild, and we're gonna give this another try here, guys. Hopefully it doesn't crash my PC this time. Alright, and the plane is on the move! It's moving further! Oh my goodness, my game is lagging so hard. What is that boat? What, what is going on? Guys, my frame rate is so low right now, but this is in fact working. Look at this TNT bomber plane, guys. It is dropping a TNT down on the terrain. Absolutely demolishing this poor village right here. And oh my god, look at the plane, guys. It's totally glitched out. This is what I call damage here, guys. Oh my god, the lag. The lag is <laughs> boat. I want to sit in the boat, please. Please let me sit in the boat. I'm at the front of this thing! Yeah! Bins. Sometimes I, I the inventory bin. will fill up oh, with junk. I'm it's terrible at managing my inventory. In it's doors. always full of rubbish. So you need to have somewhere to put to all of that. Fair enough. And a rubbish bin is a good way to go. So you just dump all of your junk in there and it will be Wait. dropped out. Oh, that doesn't into look lava. as simple as so I thought it can be disposed of effectively dropper. and ethically. He literally gave me like two seconds to look at that redstone, guys. Ah! Doesn't matter. We're still going to try to get this to work. So basically, he had a little thing that was holding the lava in place. So we'll build that in first and then a dropper. And this dropped the items into the lava here. Now we just need to figure out how to get the items from the chest into the dropper. Now it went on. It had to be a hopper clock. I'm pretty certain. Or no, maybe not. Actually, it would have been two hoppers. The chest would have gone here. So the items would have gone here. But we need something that the keeps dispensing out the so we need a redstone signal of some sort. Huh, maybe if we... Oh, wait, I've got an idea. If we have a repeater coming out from the back here, that's what he had. I saw a comparator, not a repeater. He had a comparator coming out, and then he had, like, some redstone stuff going on here. So in theory, uh, if we had a redstone dust here, a block of redstone, and then the redstone repeater, and that there? I don't know if that will work. Okay, I think it should. Let's go ahead. All we need to do now is we'll decorate this chest here. He had trap doors on the side of these oak trap... Excuse me? Oak trap doors on the side of our chest here, and then finally he had the spruce trap door on top and then he had like the back he had all of this covered up with like a wall of some sort guys so let's go ahead and build our wall here as if you can't see the redstone behind let's give this a go all right chuck all the items in guys will it chuck about bang 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 is it working ah okay it's not working but i don't think that's mumbo's fault i think that's my fault maybe if we put a block here okay that's not doing anything either maybe if we need to put some redstone dust back here oh i got it to work guys yeah there we go look it's the spencer Alright, our rubbish bin is now functional. Double fireplaces. Ooh. Fireplaces are great, but right I now mean, it's I agree. the summer. Currently, it is absolutely <laughs> boiling in my office. Well, I would not want a fireplace running at all times. So, so if you flick this lever right here, Yo, that's you can so cool. see that our fireplace gets switched off. But then How? when it comes into the evening, you know, it would be nice to chill out next to the fire. Fair enough. So we flick the lever again. How does that work? Once again, Mumbo said this was easy. I really disagree here, guys. Uh, he had like a block here. This was activated by something. I think he had a redstone torch. That activated that. He said this was easy, but I'm still trying to figure out what in the world is going on. He would have had to have two dispensers. One with the fire in it. One with the flint and steel. And one with the water in it like that. 
and then an observer out the side here to detect this block change and activate those two. That makes sense. Okay, then he would have had to have the block for the lever here, guys, and then the campfire goes on top there. I think that will work there, guys. Okay, let's get our decorative blocks here and our water. So we'll put our water in that dispenser and our flint and steel there. And now all we have to do is, well, decorate this out a bit. He had some red concrete. Um, he brought this up. And then he had like some stair blocks here and then he had the chimney go up and he had the back here open so that you could actually see the smoke coming out the top of the chimney nice all right i think this will work that did not i've stuffed up why did that happen maybe maybe the water bucket is supposed to be on the on the bottom dispenser that's the only thing i can think i'm pretty sure i got all the redstone correct here guys all right wait, we're gonna put the water bucket on the bottom and put the flint and steel on the top and we'll try this again Oh, it turned on. That's a good sign. And it turned off. Look at that, guys. I got a fireplace which I can turn on and off. That is pretty cool. Now, for our next Mumbo Jumbo Redstone hack, you're going to have to subscribe and wait until the next video because that's all the time we've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, AY Stream out. Bye.